Aloha, now is a great time to test your chat functions, say hello to others, and let them know you're here. Aloha and good evening. Welcome to the College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources, known as CTAR, Fall 2021 Virtual Convocation. My name is Kenneth Choi, and I'm a CTAR graduate student pursuing a master's in entomology, and I will serve as a co MC. And my name is Chana Chun, an undergraduate student pursuing a bachelor's degree in tropical agriculture and the environment, and I will serve as your other co MC. Please make yourself comfortable, grab a beverage of your choice, and join us to celebrate the accomplishments of your fantastic fall and summer 2021 graduating class. Before we start with the agenda, I would like to remind you to sign into the YouTube to participate in the chat. Detailed instructions for a YouTube login have been posted on the CTAR Convocation website. If you have any questions or problems during the program, please let us know in the chat, and our moderators will respond to you. We have an excellent program planned for you, including four raffle prizes for tuning in. Fill out the raffle form at the provider link to enter. You only need to enter once, and winners will be announced live via YouTube chat throughout the program. We encourage all of you to use the hashtag CTARGrad on Instagram to show your CTAR pride. This could be a photo of you from school or while watching the program right now. The agenda for tonight includes Oli by our CTAR student ambassadors, welcome speech by Dr. Nicholas Comerford, CTAR Dean and Director, Words from our honored keynote speaker, Dr. Bonnie Buntain, CTAR student martial speeches, Phi Upsilon Omicron Honor Society recognition, the presentation of the fall and summer 2021 graduates, speech by guest speaker provost, Dr. Michael Bruno, mahalo and closing remarks, and evaluation survey. We will start our program with the CTAR Oli. The Oli was composed by interim assistant professor, Dr. Mehana Vaughn, and gifted to the college in 2013. <laughs> Hano hano vale o Hawaii e e ho mai ka ma o popo pono pono mai uka a ikai e aloha e aloha e aloha e. Thank you, Citar Student Ambassadors. That was a beautiful performance. Now we'd like to invite Dr. Nicholas Comerford the Dean of the College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources, 
and Director of Cooperative Extension to welcome you here this evening. Well, welcome to our Fall 2021 Convocation. Let me first congratulate our students on your success, but also let me congratulate your families for the support they provided you over these years. And let them know that we share the pride that they have in you for your accomplishments. Thinking about your graduation, it makes one wonder what are the challenges that you will be facing in your careers. What have you learned in CTAR that will help you succeed? What have you learned that will make your life and the life of your communities better? There's a project called the Millennium Project. It's a think tank that publishes the State of the Future Report. It talks about current and future challenges. So I thought a partial list of those challenges would be useful for you to consider because it's going to be up to you to decide how you will navigate them. First challenge, sustainable development and climate change. This goes against all our programs in CTAR. Uh, every one of them deals with some level of sustainable development and every one of them will be affected in the future by climate change. Another challenge is the gap between the rich and the poor. Our program in human development and family sciences is a focus in this area. Another challenge, health issues. Many programs in CTAR deal with health. Food science and our dietetics program, molecular biosciences, both at the graduate and undergraduate level work with the medical school and the cancer center dealing with health issues. Another challenge, education and learning. All of our degree programs and all of our statewide extension programs deal with education and learning. We just went through a pandemic. We had to change how we educate and you as students had to change how you learn. This is gonna be a continuing issue as time goes on because we're gonna to continue to deal with a pandemic in one form or another. The last challenge I think worth bringing up is one of ethics. I believe we're in a serious ethics problem at the national level. What you've learned at CTAR and take with you into your communities, the hope is you'll be a pillar of ethical behavior and example for others. So I would say that you are prepared for the future. It's now, what are you going to make of it? And that's best expressed by William Shakespeare when he wrote, it is not in the stars that hold our destiny, but in ourselves. So make your time here count. Make your future meaningful. Best of luck. And remember that we will be here if you need us in the future. You remain a part of the CTAR Ohana. So thank you, and again, congratulations. Thank you, Dean Comerford. Tonight, I would like to introduce you to our honored keynote speaker, Dr. Bonnie Buntain. Bonnie is not only the Professor Emerita of Public Health and Food Safety at the University of Calgary's Veterinary Medical School, as well as an appointed professor for the new College of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Arizona, but she is also a proud CTAR alumna, having graduated with both a bachelor's and master's degree in our Animal Sciences program. In fact, Bonnie was named Outstanding CTAR Alumni this past September. Not surprising given her many accomplishments, such as being both the first female equine practitioner in Hawaii and the first Hawaii veterinarian to become board certified by the American Board in Veterinary Practitioners in Equine Practice. Aloha and congratulations, graduates. I'm proud and honored to be invited to share this day with you. Today, I suggest that you consider becoming a risk taker. Why is this important? Well, maybe some of you have read the Dune books or have seen the hit movie Dune. In it, the planetologist Pardo Kine states, a person unwilling to take risks is doomed to never learn, never grow, never to live. How can that advice apply to you and your next steps in your careers? You have already taken risks to be here today as graduates. Now your journey begins into the unknown, like the planet Dune with its unforeseen dangers. I ask you to have the courage and passion to master your fears and cultivate your ability to take risks. Risk takers become rebel leaders. They can see solutions differently than the experts in your workplace. I became a rebel risk taker when I was a newly appointed executive in the US Department of Agriculture 
and was greatly concerned about the bad press regarding humane slaughter at meat processing establishments. I was able to find some grant money to have Dr. Temple Grandin study what was possibly going wrong. Some of you may know about Dr. Temple Grandin, a highly functional person with autism from your animal science studies of humane handling of animals, or maybe from the great movie starring Claire Danes as Temple Grandin. The other executives at USDA told me that only the government can study humane slaughter because that is what they regulate and only those expert officials have that knowledge to evaluate it. They warned me not to do this project. Well, I took a risk and secretly worked with Dr. Temple Grandin for a year. Although the government never officially accepted or utilized our findings, the humane handling guidelines developed from this project have been adopted by the meat industries worldwide. I became a risk-taking rebel and good things happened. This has repeated throughout my career and even with a few bumps along the road, I'm proud of the innovative new programs I helped to make happen. Find out what you are passionate about and explore it as your career progresses in different directions. Don't be afraid of change or taking risks. Embedded in every change you make are opportunities to grow and become successful. A respected philosopher, Professor David Story, said that self-confidence is the memory of success. As you learn from the risks you take and your successes, both big and small, you will grow in confidence. Trust yourself. You know more than you think. Trust that being a rebel risk taker is an invaluable asset that can bring innovative ideas, new programs and policies to make the world a better place. Mahalo Nui Loa for this great honor to share this day with you. Congratulations, graduates. Mahalo, Bonnie, for inspiring our graduating class through both your words and the exceptional example you set. It is now time for our first raffle prize. Check the YouTube comments to see if you won. We will now recognize our student marshals. The student marshals are chosen based on their leadership, scholarship, and service to the college and university, and have traditionally represented CTAR at the university's commencement ceremony. Our first student marshal is Sarah Lynn Kayo. Sarah Lynn joined CTAR in 2017 after graduating high school. She's a pre-law honors student who served as CTAR ambassador, a member of both Phi Epsilon Omicron and Friends of the Family, and was a HDFS Kumuola program mentor. During her four and a half years in CTAR, not only did she gain beneficial skills and knowledge from her classes and internships, she also made many friendships, overcame challenges, and created memories that she will never forget. Please welcome Sarah Lynn. Aloha mai kako. Mahalo for joining us tonight to celebrate our great accomplishments. Eho o mai kai to all of you for your perseverance, hard work, and dedication. During our undergraduate career, we have endured a number of successes as well as challenges. Since then, you have blossomed into a more confident and resilient individual, ready to take on the next steps of your future. I want to mahalo the many naulima I have had during my undergraduate journey. To my family, friends, advisors, and God, thank you for your constant support and encouragement to help me succeed. To the amazing professors, lecturers, and teacher assistants in the Human Development and Family Studies program, I have been fortunate enough to have you as either an educator, mentor, work supervisor, or as a friend. Thank you for your dedication in empowering me to face my challenges. So instead of asking, why me? I now ask, why not me? Aohe ulu elowai kapokole okolo. The breadfruit cannot be reached when the picking stick is too short. This olelo no eao means that there is no success without preparation. But Sitar has definitely prepared us so that we can succeed. With that said, on behalf of the students, thank you to our Sitar faculty, staff, advisors, and everyone else who has supported us academically professionally, and personally. Now, as distinguished alumni, let us take what we've learned from this school and life 
and go forth to make a difference for the betterment of this world, which requires your light and potential in whichever journey you choose to embark on. Congratulations class of 2021, and I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Mahalo Sarah Lynn for sharing your words with us tonight and for your outstanding commitment to the college. Please join us in congratulating Sarah Lynn in the chat. Our second student marshal is Arby Barone. Arby is from the island of Oahu, raised in Wailua on the North Shore. In 2018, Arby graduated from UH Manoa with both a Bachelor of Arts degree in English with a specialization in folk and fairy tale studies and a Bachelor of Science degree in Molecular Biosciences and Biotechnology with a specialization in Plant Sciences. Due in part to her fierce dedication to CITAR, Arby then entered the graduate program in Molecular Biosciences and Bioengineering under the advisement of Dr. Daniel Owens. Arby studied phytochemicals produced by native and non-native plants under stress, their use in medicine, and their induced production in other organisms. Throughout her lengthy time in CITAR, Arby has been a member of multiple CITAR clubs, including being the longest serving student ambassador. She also served as the vice president of the Alumni Association and a student recruiter for the college. Let's welcome Arby. Aloha, I'm Arby Barone, and I'm honored to be one of two student marshals representing this graduating class. First of all, a big mahalo to all of the family members, friends, faculty, staff, pets, and Pokemon who have helped us get here. Graduates, congratulations. I know the last few semesters have been a struggle by any standards, but we've persevered and come out the other side, albeit a little battered and bruised from all of the long hours spent sitting in Zoom meetings. The world that we're graduating into doesn't really resemble the one we began our higher education journeys in. But the University of Hawaii, and especially CITAR, have prepared us for whatever challenges lay ahead. And we are stronger, more adaptable, and more educated than we were before. So that's something, right? I know that I'm forever grateful to have made it this far and to have been able to share this experience with my CITAR Ohana. And as we move forward on our individual journeys, I want to wish each and every graduate the greatest of success, however success may look to you. We have lived through economic recessions, social movements, historical presidential elections, Facebook randomly changing its name to Meta, and we're graduating during a global pandemic. We really are ready for anything. So graduates, whatever path you may choose to move forward on, imua, ho'omaika'iana ya kako, we've done it. Mahalo Arbi for your excellent speech and your phenomenal support to the college. Please join us in congratulating Arby in the chat. Our second raffle prize winner has been posted. Please check the YouTube chat to see if you won. Now we would like to recognize the students of Phi Upsilon Omicron, a national art society in family and consumer sciences established in 1909. The University of Hawaii chapter has been in existence since 1965 and recruits students in human development and family studies and fashion design and merchandising. FCS Associate Professor Dr. Rick Caulfield is the faculty advisor. Let's congratulate our one Phi Upsilon Omicron graduate tonight, Sarah Lynn Kaeo. Our third raffle prize winner has been posted. Please check the YouTube chat to see if you won. We will now start recognizing the degree candidates. First up will be the bachelor's program graduates followed by master's and PhD program graduates. CTAR graduating students will be recognized in alphabetical order first by their degree program and then their last name. Here are the CTAR Bachelor's Degree Candidates. Janelle Gong, Bachelor's of Science in Animal Sciences. Alicia Jan Keohonui Hara, Bachelor's of Science in Animal Sciences. After graduating, Alicia plans on pursuing a degree in veterinary medicine. She hopes to one day return home to Hawaii and practice on the Big Island. Sabrina Nicole Haverly, Bachelor's of Science in Animal Sciences. Irene Liang, Bachelor's of Science in Animal Sciences. After graduating from CITAR, Irene plans to attend veterinary school. Irene also plans to do more yoga. Brittany Price, Bachelor's of Science in Animal Sciences. Elena Williams, Bachelor's of Science in Animal Sciences. Rex Imanaka, Bachelor's of Science in Bioengineering. Joshua McDaniel, Bachelor's of Science in Dietetics. Setsuko Yamada, Bachelor's of Science in Dietetics. Audrey Namba, 
Bachelors of Science in Fashion Design and Merchandising. Tavia Ordenstein, Bachelors of Science in Fashion Design and Merchandising. Michaela Thomas, Bachelors of Science in Fashion Design and Merchandising. Yu Xuan Zhao, Bachelors of Science in Fashion Design and Merchandising. Kimberly Ta, Bachelors of Science in Food Science and Human Nutrition. Emily Dungate, Bachelors of Science in Food Science and Human Nutrition. Emily Overrader, Bachelors of Science in Food Science and Human Nutrition. Kellyanne Omatsu, Bachelors of Science in Food Science and Human Nutrition. Quinn Yamasaki, Bachelors of Science in Food Science and Human Nutrition. Ashley Rose Lealoha Josephovich Adams, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. After graduating from CTAR, Ashley plans to work with at-risk youth and families. She also plans to apply for graduate school to obtain a master's degree in social work. Rachel Aguda, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Mr. Alan Ahn, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Ebony Elijah Ipolani Tuaoi Tutu, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Kalani Viva Ole Akao, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Brooke Arita, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Peyton Awaya, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Remlin Domingo Baduya, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. After graduating from CTAR, Remlin plans to continue with higher education by pursuing a master's degree in social work and advocating for mental health. Kira Beltran, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Adam Rading, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Megan Calderon, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Terence Sinido, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Donovan Dalton, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Makana Maikalani Dudois, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Diane Russia Fernando Famorca, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. After graduating from CTAR, Diane plans to work full-time in the form of support and advocacy work with families. She also wants to start doing volunteer work in her community to further learn and immerse herself in the different resources and support that are out there and available to everyone in the community. Diane plans to work full-time, do volunteer work for a couple of years, then return to school to attend UH Hilo and pursue a Master of Arts in Counseling Psychology. Jeanette Fontanilla Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Christine Joy Aban, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Caprice Amai Harper, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. After graduating, Caprice plans to become a registered behavior technician or school counselor. Olivia Helmer, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Christopher Ho, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Lilinois Okea Nue Nue Palua Amber Shenandoah Irvine, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. After graduating from CTAR, Lilinois plans to pursue a couple of certifications before starting their career. Sarilyn Mariah Kaeo, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. After graduating from CTAR, Sarah plans on gaining more work experience, volunteering with CASA, applying to law school and graduate school, and joining Ahula Halal. Julia Kang, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Carly Ku, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Starlet Kuule Kim, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. After graduating from CTAR, Starlet plans to become a certified family life educator to help and assist families with Alzheimer's disease by providing them with different coping strategies from the patient and caretaker's point of view. Crystal Joy Lazario, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. 
After graduating, Crystal's plans were to find a job and work with special needs kids just like her daughter. However, as life has its own plans, for now she plans to be a stay-at-home mom to take care of her identical triplet boys that are due this coming January 2022. Sharice Lee, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Jamie Lum, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Mazal Matter, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Bojana Markovic, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Casey Morden, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Leah Ann Ramos, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Lauren Brooke Remilar, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. After graduating, Lauren will be furthering her studies at the University of Hawaii at Manoa and joining the staff at Read to Me International as a program and site assistant. Stanford Zario, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Hikari Sasahara, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. After graduating from CETAR, Hikari plans on becoming a teacher for early childhood age kids to educate our future generations with love and hope. Brandy Shinoda, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Justice Tavai, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Danica Eliza Tolentino, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Travis Toriki, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Tyler Uchiyama, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Skylar Williams, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Corey Yamamoto, Bachelors of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. Min Su Khan, Bachelors of Science in Molecular Biosciences and Biotechnology. Keo Honui M. Kem, Bachelors of Science in Molecular Biosciences and Biotechnology. After graduating from CETAR, Keo Honui hopes to pursue a career in the medical field and hopes to change the health disparities that the Hawaiian community faces. In the short term, Keo Honui would like to work at a hospital participating in their research programs, whether that be as a research assistant or project analyst. Within the next few years, Keo Honui plans on applying for a master's to become a family nurse practitioner. Jacob Lin, Bachelors of Science in Molecular Biosciences and Biotechnology. David Witcher, Bachelors of Science in Molecular Biosciences and Biotechnology. Taika Akoba, Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Claire Atkins, Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Kylie Barker, Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Sophia Egger, Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Mariah Jean Garrison, Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. After graduating from CETAR, Mariah plans to work in a federal position doing wildlife conservation and management for the Hawaiian Islands. She will continue to work with nonprofits such as the Cheetah Conservation Fund and International Hoostock Awareness Association. In the near future, Mariah would like to continue her education, eventually working in education and public outreach. Tanya Luna Hen. Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. After graduating from CETAR, Tanya plans on moving to Texas and applying to a state or federal agency for natural resources and environmental management. Betty Aida, Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Noah Kamana, Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Gagandi Lali, Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Isabella Anna Rios Margarin, Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. After graduating from CETAR, Isabella plans on working full time and traveling. They are also applying to graduate school here at UH Manoa for fall 2022. Glenn Meter, 
Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Sage Murakami, Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Noah Ragon, Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Christian Rice, Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Justin Alakai Sean, Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Nick Sinchek, Bachelors of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Sean Keen, Bachelors of Science in Tropical Agriculture and the Environment. Breland Nelson, Bachelors of Science in Tropical Agriculture and the Environment. After graduation, Breland plans on working and hopes to return to pursue a master's degree in the near future. Jesse Orozco, Bachelor of Science in Tropical Agriculture and the Environment. Landon Wong, Bachelor of Science in Tropical Agriculture and the Environment. Congratulations to all our CTAR Bachelor of Science graduates. We are so proud of your academic accomplishments and wish you so much success in your future endeavors. Next, the CTAR students receiving master's degrees are Ratu Saru Papeli Tagiva Katini, Master of Science in Animal Sciences. Robert Sakura, Master of Science in Entomology. Kento Senga, Master of Science in Food Science. Yu Wang, Master of Science in Food Science. After graduating from the Food Science program at CTAR, Yu plans to go into the PhD program in MBBE working on human drugs. Rebecca Puonani Barone, Master of Science in Molecular Biosciences and Bioengineering. Arby planned to enjoy some much needed rest and relaxation, but instead has started a PhD in the Communication and Information Sciences Interdisciplinary Program at UH Manoa, looking at artificial intelligence and machine learning at the intersection of education, ethics, and gamification. Shireen Boomla, Master of Science in Molecular Biosciences and Bioengineering. Alika Candelario Tochiki, Master of Science in Molecular Biosciences and Bioengineering. Kendria Driscoll, Master of Science in Molecular Biosciences and Bioengineering. Bridget Murphy, Master of Science in Molecular Biosciences and Bioengineering. Moaiya Salame, Master of Science in Molecular Biosciences and Bioengineering. Huang Wu, Master of Science in Molecular Biosciences and Bioengineering. Jessica Idol, Master of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Philip Kitamura, Master of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Cameron Ogden Fung, Master of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Nelson Masang, Master of Science in Tropical Plant Pathology. Congratulations to all our master students. May today's success be the beginning of tomorrow's achievements. We are all proud of you. Lastly, the CTAR students receiving PhD degrees are Jutha Sapod Havanich, Doctor of Philosophy in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. Emily Tang, Doctor of Philosophy in Tropical Plant and Soil Sciences. Peter Tovez, Doctor of Philosophy in Tropical Plant and Soil Sciences. Gamze Buluk, Doctor of Philosophy in Tropical Plant Pathology. Alejandro Olmido Verlarde, Doctor of Philosophy in Tropical Plant Pathology. Congratulations to all our PhD graduates. Your years of dedication, countless hours of studying, endless nights spent putting together research projects and presentations have finally paid off. May your dreams come true. Our last raffle prize winner has been posted. Please check our CTAR Instagram or CTAR Convocation website to see if you won. At this time, I would like to introduce the University of Hawaii at Manoa Provost, Dr. Michael Bruno for his remarks. Aloha, December 2021 CTAR graduates. I'm Michael Bruno, Provost of UH Manoa, and I'm here to lend my voice to those many voices across your college, in our community, and of course among your families and friends in congratulating you on this most remarkable of successes. And I use that word remarkable because you have achieved that success under the most challenging of circumstances. And yet, throughout the last two years, and a global pandemic, you persevered and you encouraged and assisted one another and together you succeeded. Along the way, you inspired all of us to work harder, 
to listen more. And together, we navigated all of those challenges associated with isolation and fear and anxiety. And here you are, poised to take the next step in your careers and in fulfilling your dreams. And you will fulfill those dreams. Of that, I am supremely confident. After all, as CTAR graduates, you navigated some of the most difficult courses that Manoa has to offer. You succeeded, but you also discovered things about yourself that you'd never known. A joy of discovery, a sense of purpose. The confidence that comes from exceeding those, those trials and inevitable failures on the way to achieving all those moments of great success. Those lessons are going to stay with you forever. Lean on them as you navigate the years ahead. And I know that as you go forward in those years, you will benefit from the knowledge and the tools that CTAR has given you. Knowledge and tools that will help you address some of the most pressing problems facing Hawaii and in fact the entire world. Preserving, protecting, and managing our precious natural resources, sustainable agriculture, human nutrition, and food production, resilient families, and resilient communities. On behalf of all of the faculty, staff, and administration of the University of Hawaii at Manoa, congratulations and all the best as you navigate the years ahead. Aloha. Thank you, Provost Bruno. Aloha, everyone. My name is Michelle Au. I currently serve as the president of the CTAR Alumni Association and Friends. Now that you're officially CTAR graduates, you're part of an international network of proud CTAR alumni. Our Alumni Association chapter was established in 1989 for graduates, friends, and affiliates of CTAR to support the college and provide a larger community that promotes the pride and sense of ohana that this college represents. The purpose of the association is to provide a channel of communication between CTAR and its alumni and friends to further social, professional, and educational activities. I encourage you to take advantage of the numerous activities we offer as you transition from student to alumni. You'll be able to provide your expertise to students that are just starting out on their college journey. I hope you will keep in touch with us no matter where you are and share with us all of your accomplishments throughout your career. We are so proud of all that you have achieved. CTAR will always be your second family and we welcome you to join us at the CTAR Alumni Association and Friends. Be on the lookout for our monthly newsletters inviting you to participate in all the fun and exciting things we have in store now that you're officially CTAR alumni. From all of us at the CTAR Alumni Association and Friends, we congratulate and welcome you into our CTAR Alumni Ohana. To commemorate your passage from student to alum, our faculty and staff came together to send their well wishes with this special video. Enjoy! <music> find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to our friends and me. You can count on me. Congratulations, CTAR class of 2021. I'll be there. And I know when I need. Congratulations, congratulations. Well done, everyone. Well done. Very well done. I'm so proud of you. And again, congratulations. If you're tossing and you're turning and you just can't fall asleep, I'll sing a song beside you. If you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you 
find out what we're made of when we are called to help our friends in need you can count on me like one two three i'll be there congratulations to the 2021 graduates a COVID moment in time brave into the world with a sense of purpose impart your footprints to transform this fragile world sustain our natural resources with creativity and passion embrace life with happiness and kindness demand justice and equity for all people promise to nurture your mind with objectivity and insights. Leave behind a better world for the next generation. Mahalo. I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two And you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do Oh yeah Thank you to all the faculty for sending in their heartwarming videos. Finally, we have some farewell words from our very own Associate Dean of Academic and Student Affairs, Dr. Anya Victoric. Well, aloha all. I would like to take these last few minutes of our program to one more time acknowledge your huge accomplishment. This convocation marks the end of a long journey, not only for you, our fabulous graduates, but also for your family and friends. You all have worked so hard and made many sacrifices, but most importantly, you made it to this finish line and you did it under such a difficult situation. So I would like to congratulate you all and I am so proud of you. This is also the holiday season and the holiday season is about the gratitude and reflection. So let's reflect for a second about this amazing gift that you guys gave yourself for this holiday season. You gave yourself the gift of higher education, the gift of a brighter future. As Malcolm X said once, education is the passport to the future for tomorrow belongs to these who prepare for it today. So you have prepared and this is your time. This is your time to spread your wings and fly and fly high but it doesn't mean that you're not going to fall down from time to time. That happens and you will. But when that happens, I want you guys to remember that you are extremely resilient. You have a class that graduated during the COVID-19 pandemic. So when you fall down, I want you guys to get up and do it again and again and again. Because as Nelson Mandela said once, do not judge me by my success. Judge me by how many times I fall down and got up again. So let's talk about gratitude. I know that all of you know that you wouldn't made it to this day without amazing support system. So when this ceremony is finished, what I would like you guys to do is take a few minutes and say thank you to all the people and the pets that, that are your support system and make your journey possible. Also here at CITRA, we have entire team of dedicated faculty and staff who work together to help you guys reach this amazing goal. So what I would like to do is to say thank you to all our fabulous faculty and staff for your amazing dedication to our academic programs and student success these students would not have been able to make it to this finish line without you. Okay, I'm going to talk about gratitude one more time. There are so many people who work behind the scenes to make this virtual convocation possible. 
And I would like to say thank you for all of you for your amazing job. Especially, I would like to thank our keynote speaker, Dr. Bonnie Bontain, for taking the time to put together a fantastic message to share with our graduates. Our guest speaker, our provost Bruno, for providing his valuable insights to our graduating class. Also, I would like to say thank you to Skip Bitterburden and Eben Imata, and of course, our students ambassadors for sharing their musical talent with us. Of course, we cannot forget about these amazing stalls that our students received. So I would like to say thank you to our CETA fashion design and merchandising faculty that includes Minako McCarthy, Abby Christie, Dr. Raleigh, and Dr. Yi, and of course the students from Stoll Society for making this amazing stall for our students. Of course, we wouldn't be able to have this amazing virtual convocation without our support of our CETA Office of Communication Services. So thank you, Mark Berthold and Godwin Polenti for providing video production services. And thank you to the entire Office of Academic and Student Affairs here at CETA for making this event possible. So CETA graduates, congratulations again and happy holidays. We hope you enjoyed our virtual convocation ceremony and would love to hear your thoughts. Your input is valuable to us. Please take a moment to complete a survey by the end of the night. Thank you for helping us celebrate our fall and summer 2021 graduating class. Have a good night and stay safe.